What's happening, youtube -averse? It's your boy, Darkularity, and thank you for tuning in to the 25th episode of my open world playthrough in Icarus. This video was originally streamed live right here on YouTube, so if you think you want to catch me when I go live, hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Thanks a bunch, and enjoy the episode. And we are doing some Icarus tonight. Yes, we are. And I guess I should admit to a few things, especially... I mean, I guess really for anyone who's watching the stream and anybody who's watching on YouTube since the last episode that I uploaded on there. Some things have changed. Last time, where did we leave off? I think I got some steel tools, right? So we, we got some steel. We got, uh, we have Kevin here and uh, Karen. And uh, since then, I have been a busy bumblebee. And what, what have we done? Well, let me show you. These are all new. Because I went and I collected wood and stone for a good amount of time. And I also collected up a bunch of metal. I've since used some. Uh, do I have any more in here? Yeah, we got a bunch of aluminum stuff cooking. So I gave myself a few upgrades in the talent tree. Um, I guess I don't even need to show that. I got the oxygen bottle, so I crafted up one of those so we don't have to worry about suffocating constantly. What else did we do? We got the canteen. So that's fantastic. And one more upgrade that I did for myself was right here. The recurve bow. Oh yeah, we got this bad boy. We are ready to destroy wildlife. Now I feel like I should admit to a little something. Actually, well first here, let's take a look. At the, let's take a look at outside of our gate, our yard, if you will. There are no trees and there are no boulders in sight because we've cleared them all out. There's nothing here. So we need to travel further for resources. Also, I should admit I don't want to. I know he looks familiar and I know his name is Kevin, but this is not Kevin. Kevin died. I wasn't gonna say anything and that's why I named him Kevin too, but Kevin did die. I was at a cave. I found a cave that's right here. A pretty, it's actually a huge cave. It's one of the coolest caves that I've ever been in in Icarus. There's water in it. It's just really cool. Tons of worms. But I left Kevin outside of it because I was like, you know what? Why not? Kevin's been pretty good. He hasn't got attacked or died yet. So we'll leave him out there. And I was like, you know what? I better go and drop off. My inventory's full. I better go drop it off at Kevin, right? So I get over there. Kevin is dead. There was a bear. And then the bear rushes me in the cave. Almost kills me too. So uh, yeah, Kevin died. And I was going to hide it from you guys. But I decided, you know what? No, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is Kevin 2.0. It's his replacement. And so far, he's just as dumb as the first Kevin. Because I don't know if it's a bug or what the deal is. I don't understand how the AI works on these guys. But even the bird. Like, sometimes when you get off of them, always when you get off of them, it sets it to follow. But they don't follow you. They just start walking in random places. And for some reason, there's a place in the lake right over here. It's about right there, where my cursor's pointed at. This area right here. They love to just wander there and then float in the middle of there for no reason and then even when i tell them to follow me they won't it takes me forever to get them back so yeah i don't know what's going on there but what are we going to do tonight well i gathered up a bunch of resources got a bunch of iron so we can make a bunch of nails and i got a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone and i mean this one's not super important in here we got a bunch of sticks look at all this fiber we got fiber for days this thing's full of bones so full, in fact, that I had to move all the leather and fur over here. So, you know what? Our base is getting pretty full. And the reason why we collected all these resources is so that we can work on base today. I want to expand the base and I want to do some building. Also, in these storages here, just kind of the odds and ends. So we've got lots of oxide, sulfur, and silica ore here. Also salt. I got some salt because so I was like, maybe I need it for something. I don't even know. Down here, this is just leftover building pieces. We are going to use these farm plots because, well, they were free. So we're going to use those, and we probably will need walls again at some point, right? But my idea for what I want to do with the base here, so I'm thinking I want to convert the bottom of it into a stable for these two and maybe more animals. So I want to see if there's a way that I can use. We could probably unlock them. Also, I gained a bunch of levels just from gathering resources and killing... Well, I mean, we all know what it's like at Reptile River. And we all know how many creatures there are roaming around, right? So, 
I killed a lot of them and got a lot of experience for doing that. Did I click on something by accident? No. Okay. What I was saying is in here, is this where the stone stuff is? Yes. The stone frames. I'm going to unlock those just right now just to get it done with. Also, I think the trap floor door might be cool so we can get underneath easier. Um, gosh, I don't know what else we need. Right now, I'm going to leave it like this just for now. What is that? It's like a half pitch? Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm not going to unlock anything else until we actually like need to come upon unlocking those for things. But I'm thinking if there's a way that we can use those foundations or whatever the heck they're called under here and replace some of these... I'm thinking if we can do like these uh, pillars, but go this way, I don't really know how the structural part of um, like the building in Icarus, I'm not good at it. I, I honestly haven't had that much experience with it. I'm actually going to be releasing a video, a new video for a new Icarus series that I'm working on. I'm going to do one video or the missions. I want to do the missions. So I kind of want to dedicate one video per mission. Uh, they'll come out once or twice a week, depending on how long they take to make and blah, blah, blah. Right. The streams and this series is, is going to continue to go on. I'm having a blast in the open world, but at the same time, I really want to experience all the missions. And admittedly, I've only done like 23 of the missions. So we're going to create a brand new character again from scratch. And that character is going to do all the missions. And I think we're going to start with the Olympus ones. We'll run all the missions in Olympus. And then we'll run all the missions in uh, Sticks. So look forward to that. But like I said, I've only done 23 missions. So I haven't done too much building. And so much has changed. So we are going to do that today. So let's get rid of this bush. And let's get into it. I don't think we need to utilize these guys right now. Plus I'm mad at all of them. Actually, you know what? The first thing we should do... Is our balcony no you know what the second thing we're gonna do is our balcony ah, after we figure out the bottom area here i think i may need to waste some stone what do we need oh we need a bunch of leather nails oh yeah we might as well get some nails uh, uh craft it up real quick here how many are we gonna need well we're gonna need a lot we are gonna need a lot so let's do just a full stack for now let's do 20 crafts no no not not 100 We'll do 20 crafts for now and see where that gets us. Um, what else we needed? Leather. So I'm actually going to take leather out of here first so we can free up some space in here. That's probably way too much, but that's okay. And then we need what? Wood? Oh, yes. We need wood and we need stone. But we took care of that. Also, these uh, brazers are... I mean, <laughs> let me know how you pronounce that. I think they're braziers or braziers. Um, these have been going off that wood I put in, and we're talking probably like four hours. So four hours for 25 pieces of wood. Ooh, oh, they'll stay lit for a decent amount of time. All right. So we got wood in there. Let's grab some stone. Boop, 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 boop. I don't mind if I'm encumbered. We can just waddle our, waddle our chunky selves over here. And there we go. Boom. So we need nails. I think I'm going to need to make up a few more pillars because I don't know. Well, like when I put the foundation down or whatever it's called, I don't know if I want to pull these out, like pull these out and risk it collapsing because that's going to be a disaster. And there's no like reverting saves, right? in Icarus. So the last thing I want is for, like, say, I don't know, all this heavy stuff over here to collapse through the floor. I would not be a happy camper if something like that happened. So, yeah. I think I'm going to make... Maybe I'll just make 20 more pillars. It's probably wasteful. But this way, you know, hopefully I can guarantee that the floor isn't going to collapse once we pull the ones from underneath there. Let's grab these nails. I only made 200 nails. Oh, we are going to need to use a lot of iron. Shouldn't have wasted so much on uh, on steel. Do I have any in here? Oh, we got five. We'll just leave those alone. Okay, so what did we say? We said ten of these. So let's craft up ten of those so we have them. And 
Gosh, what do we need? 25 total for underneath here? Let's just do 10 for now. No, let's do 5. Because we want to experiment without wasting too much. Full disclaimer, this entire base might collapse and uh, I'm going to be sad about it. I'm not going to be a happy boy. Nope. It's not going to be a good time if everything collapses, so. But yeah, so I'm thinking stable area under here, right? We'll finish the wraparound deck area so we can get foundations and supports and blah, blah, blah for that. And then I want to, so we got a couple ways we can go. I know that I want, we want to expand this way. And we also want to expand this way. Not the whole width of the room, right? Something kind of fancy like, uh, I don't know, like smaller. Like start one foundation in and maybe some ankle work or something. I don't even know if there's angles in, Icarus. But we want to do that and we want to add a second floor. The second floor is going to be like where the bedroom is going to be. I'm thinking like the textile bench is going to be up there. Um, maybe... I don't know. Maybe we can make like an office up there where like this kind of stuff is going to go hang out. I don't know. But a second floor we want for sure. Like a dining area. So once we're done underneath and we get the stable stuff figured out, hopefully the base doesn't collapse, then uh, yeah, we'll see where else we get onto. Or what other things we get onto. In my head, I was like, you know what? I'm going into this stream with a plan. I want to work on the base and I want to do the underneath. And actually all I really thought about was doing the underneath. The rest of it, I'm not sure. So let's see what we can do here. And we, I want to see what this looks like. Whoa, well, look how thick that is. Holy jeebus. Now, is the ostrich going to be able to fit? Can I go down lower than that? I want to go lower than that. No, lower. Where's the, ooh, that, so that's the next lowest area? Is that all the way down there? Hey, trying to make you a bedroom, you guys. Cut it out. Yeah, I guess that's as low as we can go. So if I, I'm nervous that this whole thing's going to collapse. <laughs> Is anyone else nervous too? Okay, so let's, uh, let's not do that anymore. And let us deploy this. So I'm thinking with these, uh, variants so let's go this way now if i add supports here and here i'm hoping by doing this we're going to be able to support the stuff above it i mean i don't mind having supports around the edge no big deal nbd 100 percent. but i don't want supports like in the middle so this is blue, and that's blue, and that's green. And I have no idea what any of those mean. I just know when it gets to, like, orange and red that that's bad. So let's pull this one out right here. And everything's still green. Okay. So I think we just keep going <laughs> as long as we have green. I think we'll be okay. So can I, I want to pick up this one. Okay, now what happens if I pick up this one? nothing okay all right and that one nothing's breaking yet and everything's still green so green means go so what if we just uh pull this one I still see green yeah okay but does that change things higher up here green green everything's green everything's green I like that. We should sleep because I want to do this during the day. So let's light our old campfire up here. Okay, there we go. I honestly thought that this thing would have fallen over by now. I was nervous about it. I was thinking about it like all day. I'm like, oh, okay. Let's just light our little waste torch here. <laughs> okay, so so far so good down here. Let's, um... Let's deploy another one of these and let's see if we can get this whole like first row done wait are you gonna fit in here man i'm gonna be pretty disappointed if you guys can't fit in here i don't think they're gonna fit in here let's try come on dude i want you to go in here sir all right now let me get off yeah see that's not gonna work for this guy all right we need to rethink our 
plan of attack here. I almost ran right into the water. Not like they don't go there themselves anyway. Damn. I mean, we could just raise the height of the entire built structure up by one. That is going to be a lot of work. Holy smokes. If we do it and there's no storm, it might not be a lot of... Like, it's going to be a lot of work either way because we have all these storages. And I don't really want it to be one more higher. Building a friggin' skyscraper, you know? All right. What else could we utilize down here? Does the buffalo fit? I mean, we could have buffaloes and ostriches in different, like, houses. Come on, dude. Come on, Kevin. Kevin 2.0, get up here, bro. All right, Kevin fits. All right. We're going to have buffaloes below. And ostriches are uh, to be determined. We'll figure the buffalo. You know what? You know what? Ostriches, because I want to have the garden kind of on this side somewhere. Maybe under this wing of the house at the level well what level did it want why does it want to place them so dang low okay, let's see this again here i need more of these dang foundations so what did i need 25 to do the entire thing we might as well craft them how many did i make i think i made five so let's do 20. oh we need way more stone all right stone and what else did it say we need There's the stone. Let's uh, make 20 of these. Craft, you want a crap load more nails. Okay, well, we can do that. We have a decent amount. This time we're going to do uh, 40 crafts. Let's craft 400 nails this time. No, yeah. Damn, I was really wishing the ostriches would fit under there too. I wish the foundations, uh... Would, uh, go lower, you know? Okay, I guess while we're waiting, we can, uh... Add the rest, not the rest, but we can add, uh... Actually, you know what? I guess we can add the rest. Because we can start tearing out a bunch of these. So, give me. And give me. Now, what happens... If we take out this one? Yeah, nothing. Nothing happens. So let's continue this beam across. Put one there, and we'll put one there, and there, and this way. And then let's pick up these, and this one. We're still good. Everything's green. What about above? I'm like, honestly, pretty nervous <laughs> that it's going to fall. That's why I want to keep checking. Everything is green. Yeah, we're good, man. We're good. Okay. This is going better than I thought it would. Blue must mean it's like super sturdy. That's what I'm assuming. Now I wonder if we can take out like this one and this one. But we will worry about the edge ones after. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, we're still good. Still good. Now I'm thinking just because I want to go all the way across this way. As long as I can't see those from up here. If I can see them from up here, then I have a problem. Yeah. That's unacceptable. I don't like that at all. So we may need to rethink. Please don't pick up the floor. Okay. We may need to rethink that whole situation. But until then, let's continue shoring up the outside here. And you know what? We're going to have where the room split off here. So we're going to deal with that after. I just want to make sure nothing's going to, like, fall in the meantime. Because pr I've had previous bases on when I was doing missions that have uh, collapsed. And then I realized that I think the weight of, like, items or, or crafting things actually play, like, an impact. When you put a certain amount of items on, like, a foundation or a floor... It can actually, like, fall through. How crazy is that for a game? I think we needed, like, 270 more of these or something. I think we're going to need to take out one of those for now. Now, can we do 20 of these, please? <laughs> yes, we can.
You damn straight we can, right? <laughs> All right, let's put this back in here. So I'm wondering, are we going to be able, like, do these add support to above? Or we may need a couple of these. If I have to have, like, you know, one or two in the center, then fine. Right? Because I think I want to, I want to add walls or I don't know. Maybe fences? Yeah, fences underneath it for Kevin and Kevin's future hombres. Because, yeah, with how quickly they die, especially, like, if you got to leave them outside of a cave, you got to have replacements, you know what I mean? I'm not just going to have one buffalo. Need multiple buffaloes. Muffaloes. And I guess, um, hmm, I guess we probably want the foundations to come out more, too. Because the balcony, and it's not really going to be a wraparound balcony anymore. Because of the the side pieces. I mean, I guess it still could be. I don't know. I told you guys before. I told you guys that I am not good with the old building in these games. I suck at it. Even if I try my hardest, it's still going to be a square box. <laughs> it's just going to be a square box with a couple other square boxes. Okay, let's throw these down. And I guess let's pick up these. How's it looking? Everything's green. Everything's green. We're good. Grab those. We have so many left, like extra pillars between uh, these stone ones and the wood ones. Now, everything still looks green and is good. Let's check up here. I want to see if the floor above it, we're going to have issues. Now, here looks slightly less green. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. No, we're still good. Everything's good. Nothing's collapsing. <laughs> okay, Doki. I uh, also don't have... Oh, I do have more. Okay. So let's place the next uh, row of foundations or whatever you want to call these. And we'll pop this guy here. Now let's have a look. I wish you could look at this without having a thing out. I don't even know if you can. Everything looks good. Oh my gosh. Kevin, you're going to have so much room for doing all the stuff and things, bro. Pick up these pillars too. Wow, we really wasted a lot of pillars and a lot of nails and stuff, eh? Hey, you know what? I think we can just destroy them. We can destroy the leftover ones. Let me out. Ah, oh, dang. Now, are we going to have to add a second one underneath here? I mean, for aesthetic purposes, it's probably going to be the thing we do, right? Now, let's see if I take this out. Does that create any weird changes? Take that one out. Okay. I think we're golden. Pop this one out. And that one. Now what about these ones? Well, we can just take out everything. Okay, good. That's actually real. I like that. That's really nice. Because you know what? I'm thinking from a... From a uh, that's what I'm looking for. Like a performance standpoint, not having to use so much materials to support your base is going to help. And you know what? This is perfect. Everything's still green. Nothing's collapsing on us. We took out like everything from down here. These foundations, they do the job, man. Okay, so we can leave the corner ones. Let's pop these ones out. Now we got to keep an eye on because I don't want things freaking collapsing. This is going to be the midpoint. We're going to leave that one. No. Is it the midpoint? Would we got two? No. The midpoint would be like in the middle here. But, I mean, if we don't need it, we're not going to keep it. Right? So let's take this one out too and see what happens. Nothing looks like it wants to collapse. This may be a problem once we get to the second level. I have no idea. 
How's it look up here? Mm, everything's still green. <laughs> okay. I like it. And it looks so much better down here already without pillars friggin' everywhere. I'm not going to take those ones out yet. Actually, wait, did I add the supports there? Yes, I did. All the way around. I'm still, I'm going to leave those for now, though. Until we get foundations back there, those ones are staying. Um, I guess we can take this. And this one. And that one. And I think we might have one down here to pick up, too. Yeah. Perfect. And then let's remove this side. Everything's still green? Perfecto. Daddy likey. That's the way it's done. From now on, I will be referred to as Bob the Builder. All right, those are the foundations done yet? Yes, they are. And now we're heavy because we have a million of these on us. Kevin, dude, you're going to have the coolest little stables down here, bro. I'm hoping to, another thing, an issue that I have frequently, that stupid buffalo, is every time I get off of him, he just wants to walk, I think, to the bed. And he walks into the spike wall and tries to freaking off himself. It's either he walks out to the middle of the lake and floats there like an idiot for no reason at all, or is trying to kill himself on the spikes. We are giving him a stable. Okay, now if we pull these out, let's hope nothing collapses on us. Take these ones. Now, are these ones blue here? Even though they're not touching the ground, they are. I am going to fill that in because I don't like the way that looks. All the way back here, we're going to have to fill that in. Looks cheesy when it's all just floating around. And that one, and then that one. And those are all still blue. Those are all still green, and oh my gosh, why did we have so many pillars before? Oh yeah. That's a beautiful square box. I love it. All right. Let's have us a T-bone. And some stringy meat, and some bacon. That's how excited I am. I don't care about my cholesterol. Now, next plan of attack. This is as far as I pre-thought out, to be honest. I thought this was going to be more difficult, and I thought the base was going to collapse. So my thought process didn't go much further than that. So what else is Kevin going to need? I think we bring out the foundations. One, one more out, because we want that balcony to come here. I'm thinking we move stairs to either side of the balcony. So we have one set of stairs on each side. That frees up the center here for uh, the Buffalo Boy to get under here. So I guess we want to use, uh, we want five more of these foundations for here. Let's come up here. Do we have the stuff for five of these, please? Yes, we do. We might as well uh, get on crafting up some more nails. And I think we are actually going to have to go and get more iron. Let us do another 20 crafts of those. Another full stack. Yep. Hurry up. So we're going to put these down. We're going to put the balcony down. Out the front there. It's going to be odd with these. I don't know. We might have to move those out. You guys got still got access to your food and water, you're good. So now let's get five um, of those ceiling dealios. Should just move this freaking crafting station down there. Let's get five of these floors. Now we only need four. Well, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna need them. We're gonna need the other one. So no wastage. What's the matter? You what? You don't want to stay and hang out with Kevin down here? Now, let's see if we have fences or some kind of a, something we can put under here. 
The reinforced railing. Now is Kevin going to be able to walk over that? About that high? I don't know. Let's test it out. Here, Kevin. Uh, maybe. But I bet we could stack them too high. Because I don't want to wall in this entire area down here. I'm thinking of just like having double high railings. You know? Looks like a little uh, thing. A couple of beds. Some water troughs and food troughs and stuff. And we'll figure out an ostrich house a little later on. Alright. Now, which way did I have these before? Yeah, I think like that. Yeah, that way they're all running kind of the same way from the bottom. Just like that. I believe it took that long to build a balcony. Oops. Uh, this is where we want. Let's throw a couple of these now. Uh, switch back to the old vertical beams. Now, I wonder if we can just get rid of those ones. That would be nice. One there and one there. Oh, but then we're going to have to get rid of that. That support there. Move the support to the outside here. Let's hope that doesn't cause problems. Damn it! This guy got the shortest legs. Jump, boy! There. It's not letting me... Maybe I can't see. Maybe I did place it there. I have no idea. We got that one. So if I pull out these ones, are we going to have any problemos? You know, maybe if you build on top just above these, you're good until a certain height. So I haven't seen a single yellow anything since I started this. Yeah, it did put that one here. Can we walk over it? Yes, we can. It looks kind of stupid. We got the biggest step to walk over. It's fine. Up here still everything's all green. Oh my gosh. I was for sure thing, thinking things were going to be collapsing on us this evening. And I'm glad that they haven't. So. Let's move the stairs. And we're going to need a couple more. So we're going to need two more stairs. We're going to need a bunch of railings. Um, and then we can get rid of these pillars here too. Ooh. Okay, let's make uh, two of these. Uh, railings, where were those? In here, in here, or in the crafting station? Yeah, right here. What do we need? Wood? Oh my god. They're eight iron a piece? Plus nails? Jeez. Like, that's not expensive. Well, I think we're going to wrap this video up right here. And just a reminder that it was originally streamed live right here on YouTube. So if you think you want to catch me live or you're enjoying the content that I'm uploading on YouTube, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and that way you're going to be notified when I go live or when a new video drops. Thanks a bunch, and we will see you next time.